So Lola, welcome to Fright Fest. Uh, Trip in the Dark Fantastic has just had its world premiere at Fright Fest. Uh, how was that experience? It was amazing, actually. It was really nerve-wracking to see a really huge screen for the first time. And it's also still a work in progress. We're nearly there, but obviously on a big screen, it's, for me, it's confronting. It's kind of a list of things like, ah, yeah, let's get this child, you know, finished. <laughs> yeah, but it was amazing. It's always amazing to be here. Yeah, and I think the the film's a it's a documentary. It's a, it's a music concert, but also it's quite avant-garde in the way that it's been put together. Just wondering if you could talk a little bit about your your thought process when it came to the the editing, particularly. So Simon is a real character, and he's always been a huge fan of Pink Floyd and the Velvet Underground. And that was my briefing. He really wanted to have a pop art feel to it. And so as Simon's career is very collected. And so it's a sort of collage almost, and that's what I've been trying to achieve within the editing, to keep it alive, because Simon has real spark and passion for everything he does. And uh, just to have a static concert didn't make any sense to me. And so this is music that was made for, for film, so it was originally edited in one way, and now you're then re-editing that. You know, that must have been a... A strange experience reinterpreting this music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of COVID. Uh, originally, we would have had an American director, and he couldn't make it to the concert. So the film people had no one to instruct them what to do. And so when I took on the project without seeing the footage, because also I was on stage, uh, it was kind of like, oh wow, yes, okay, there are some errors here. I need to make sense of it. And blessed the. the the camera people because they've done an extraordinary job it was quite tough for them not knowing what to expect who was playing where and so but for me <laughs> it was a, a whole puzzle yeah yeah and the film is a it's a family affair that must have been quite nice getting to uh, to all work together and something yes we learned a lot about each other <laughs> it's not that we didn't work uh, with each other before uh, but of course it was a documentary about my husband and I did not want him to interfere. So I had to tell him off quite a lot to leave the room and uh, I didn't show a lot of things. <laughs> Which he got really frustrated of, but now he's really happy that I did. Yeah, so it was a surprise for him though to see it all coming together. And um, yeah, and I'm glad he actually likes it. Well, that's what he taught me. <laughs> It's what he told me as well, so there's got to be some truth in it. And uh, where, uh, what, what's next? I guess it's just finishing, putting the final finishing touches on this? Yes, so now it's the finishing touch. It's kind of like, you know, um, solving the loose ends and then it goes in production. And then new films are being lined up. Uh, one of that is going to be a full documentary where Simon is not going to be the lead figure. He will have a small part in that but uh, that will be still a family affair, but not with Simon as a subject. Yeah. I'm going to let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.